afternoon, welcome to Swan Books. Thank you so much for deciding to buy a book today, or at least look at some books. People just aren't... Anyway, how can I help you? Is there a particular book you're interested in? Ah, uh, yes, we spoke this morning. That's great. Yes, your order has come in. Would you like to have a look? I can show you the books in this order one by one because, as you can see, not that many people buying books. Now, I presume most of these are gifts. You mentioned a couple of the loved ones you shopped for. Great. Okay, well, let me show you then. This is our gift wrap option at the moment. So we've run out of um, red, and, red and green paper, but we still have absolutely tons of um, orange and blue uh, tissue paper. So we can absolutely help you with wrapping. And besides that, if you are posting any of your gifts, we also have these mailer envelopes now. We get our uh, one inch badges delivered in these, so they're absolutely free of charge and uh, inside it's uh, foam peanuts as well. Honestly, won't do anything to protect your books, but they sound great. They're really squishy. So, that's also an option. Okay, without further ado, let's have a look at your books. Now, the first book is Big Kids by Michael LaForge. Here it is. Now, it has our customary bookmark inside. These complimentary with every purchase, but at the moment I can even give you some extras if you're interested. Uh, unfortunately, there is a typo in the word books, so we're trying to load these uh, quick and fast. So let's have a look inside. Today's. This book is lovely, very um, pocket size, hardcover edition. So, uh, his Birds of Maine books have been really hard to get hold of. They are sold out with all of our distributors, so this is a good alternative. This is big. And this, the author's name here, Michael DeForge. So, terrific. I believe this was published and created while uh, Michael was working on uh, Adventure Time as a designer. Great. My mother is difficult to shop for as well, but hopefully she likes it as much as you do. Now, next on your list is this Ruth Skirt book on Napoleon. Now, unlike many books about Napoleon, this is not a book about his military career, but it's about another passion that Napoleon had, and that is gardening. Now, gardening books are very popular, relatively speaking, in the sense that I think we sell about five of them a week. Um, this is a really terrific book. What a lovely uh, gift it will make. It has um, this gold foil writing which really catches the light. Just echoed here in his spade. And then the author's name there. Again, on the spine. Beautiful edition. Now this is a first edition, that's correct. It is a few years old now, but it's no less popular. Now, 
Shall I have a look inside this book? It's just a fantastic book. Here, yeah, chronology, really in depth, everything you'd expect to learn about the man and his gardens. This one of him on horseback, crossing the Alps. He makes it look so easy. These cartoons, an insight into how the media of the time portrayed him. We had a reading here. So known side of him, leaning on a shovel. The index, everything as you'd imagine. And lovely Ruth Skir. You'll take it. Wonderful. So, the next book on your list was Alkalize or Die. I don't think we've ever had this in stock before, but it wasn't that hard to get hold of. It turns out the guy who wrote them, uh, Dr. Theodore A. Baroudi, actually keeps uh, some boxes under his bed, so some back stock there. I can't say I was familiar with his publisher either, the um, Holographic Health Press, but uh, it's fascinating stuff. Um, I'm, I'm actually, we can't supply a bookmark with this book, um, just because it's, it's full of, uh, conspiracy theories. So this is actually the only book that, uh, yeah, we really, uh, we do ask that if you buy this book here, uh, of course we're willing to sell you anything with printed words in it due to the current financial and reading climates, but um, yeah, we'd really appreciate it if you don't tell anyone um, that you got this book here. So we do still have a reputation to maintain. I understand that this is for uh, an uncle who married into the family. Yeah, well, good luck with that. Shall we have a look inside? Really Great. dubious table of contents. Here there's a centerfold. I suppose you could hang this up on your wall or tack it up in your locker. Or you could frankly burn it because what's this about really? The index, additional matter, and here 
helpfully a page to take notes. One reviewer remarked that they took offence to the claim that holy water contains actual blue crosses. I'll put it in the maybe pile. Okay, the no pile. Okay, the next book on your list is Paulina by Bastian Vives. And you wanted the French edition, is that correct? Great, that's what this is. Yeah, it took a little strong arming of my distributor to get this in on time, but we did it. We filled in the requisite custom forms. Pay the European import charges. Let's face it, UK import charges. The joys of Brexit. But here it is, and it's a beauty. Fuchsia matte cover with this contrasting glossy uh, image from from one of the panels in, in the book. Black and white text to uh, echo the illustration here. Again, a lovely detail on the spine of the book as well. And of course on the back. A really expressive art style. say about Bastian Vives that he um, he's really moved beyond his um, tribute to manga artwork in this book. This really contributed to his, his breakthrough. often compared to Daniel Klaus, but I don't see the same male gaze in, in this book anyway. Really terrific stuff. So simple. And expressive. It's a lovely edition as well, I have to say. And this next book on your list, Good Night Moon, wow. Margaret Wise Brown. What a woman. Like most fabulous children's book authors of the first half of the 20th century, Margaret Wise Brown was a lesbian. Uh, terrific, interesting life. Carried on an affair for some years with the wife of John Berriman. But really, beyond her personal life, just look at the, the terrific level of illustration here. Now this is a um, enlarged version of the uh, original text. It's a deluxe hardback board book edition. Now, it's quite unusual to find board books that are also hardbacks because, as you can see, the board in themselves, they provide a uh, adequate strength. But this is, this is a production to commemorate the uh, 75th anniversary of Goodnight Moon. So we have both board and hardcover. Really fantastic vibrant colors. Margaret Wise Brown was known for working with modernist painters as her illustrator, so Clement Hurd is no exception. He was a, an American fauvist and really understood the power of bold colors. Uh, of course, you receive a bookmark with this book. Um, let's have a look inside, shall we?
In the great green room there was a telephone and a red balloon and a picture of the cow jumping over the moon. There were three little bears sitting on chairs and two little kittens and a pair of mittens and a little toy house and a young mouse and a comb and a brush and a bowl full of mush and a quiet old lady who was whispering hush. Good night room. Good night, moon. Good night, cow jumping over the moon. Good night, light and the red balloon. Good night, bears. Good night, chairs. Good night, kittens. Good night, mittens. Good night, clocks and good night, socks. Good night, little house and good night, mouse. Good night, comb, and good night, brush. Good night, nobody. Good night, mush. And good night to the old lady whispering hush. Good night, stars. Good night, air. Good night, noises everywhere. You take it. Wonderful. Now the next book on your list. We did not have the edition you requested. It has been re-released recently, but let's face it, the only difference that I could tell really by looking at my catalogue was that there is no uh, mandala printed on the cover. The content has barely been changed over the years because this is a classic. It's not required now. This is the most sold yoga demonstration book in the store. This has found great popularity, especially amongst teachers and advanced students. And look at this, I mean, what a terrific copy. Ah, uh, here's the 360 view we described really does give you every aspect. As pictures go, I don't mind these so much. Now we actually run a yoga session here in the bookshop every Sunday morning at 10. Way to get people to uh, come into the bookshop, albeit they never really buy books. I think I sold the Communist Manifesto to, to one student. Mostly they look at the t-shirts, they buy the badges. Really a great overlap between uh, readers and students of yoga, unfortunately. You'll take it. Wonderful. The final book on your list was uh, was this. This is a real whopper. They're a heavy one. I carried this upstairs myself. The design section is downstairs. I really hope you take it and uh, you have to bring it back downstairs. Um, this one is, of course, British Designers at Home by 
Jenny Rose Inns. Now, not a name I'm familiar with. She will be able to pay for me in old age. Yeah, frankly, I'm not sure how long the shop has left. And I'd love to travel when I retire. There's one woman who comes into the shop. Scarlet something. Anyway, that's why we began stocking these books. Oh, now that's where I'd live if I could uh, sell this shop for more than a prayer. Here you have the profile of each designer that's featured in the book. Interest, I suppose. Now, I'm going to bag up the books that you are buying, and you have qualified for this complimentary tote bag as well. So I will place your books inside of here. I will gift wrap the ones we discussed. else I can help you with today. Okay. Not a problem. Happy to keep the shop open a little later. It's a novelty to have a customer this time of day. Well, then I wish you a very, very pleasant holiday season, and I look forward to seeing you in the new year. Okay. Take care.